It's a late summer's evening, and judging by Jess's travel bag, she's off on holiday. But before she leaves, she's keen to make a little spending money in the ringer. Jess homes in on her first mark. Excuse me, can you tell me please? I just found this ring just down there, I'm just waiting for a cab. I think it might be, well, I'm pretty sure it's that one in the window and I don't really know what to do. It's a jeweler's, I mean, it's, in, it's inside there, so... I mean, it's, it's an engagement ring, obviously. I don't know what to do, I'm really late. I've, really, I've got to go get a slave. So, Jess has found a ring outside a jeweler's. A poster in the window is offering a £500 reward to whoever finds it. But she's on her way to the airport, so can't come back to claim the cash. Maybe one of these guys could help her out. I'd, I'd love that cash, but I'm not here. I've got, to go. <laughs> I've got to go. Sounds genuine. How could this possibly be a scam? After all, there's the poster inside the closed shop, and it seems like Jess has found the ring in the picture. It must be for real. Why did I have to go today? <laughs> damn it, damn it. Uh, I could drop it off tomorrow night. I'll be in class tomorrow. Yeah? I could pick it up here. It'll be open then, won't it? So he's agreed to help her get the ring back, but it's a shame she's going to miss out on all that lovely reward money. Unless... If you've got something on you that you can give to me now, then at least I've got something out of it. Then you can t get the £500 tomorrow. I don't even get any cash on you. Oh, really? Uh, but it sounds like he's broke. Give me your number or something. I'm sure you're a lovely guy, and I totally trust you. I don't really want to be giving my number out. She doesn't want to chat on the phone. She just wants his money. I take it back. I mean, even if it's like a tenner or something. Tenner? Sure. Surely he'll hand over ten quid, knowing he'll get the five hundred pound reward. Oh, what a cash machine! Success. He's off to get some cash. Okay. Two minutes. Hurry up, boys. I've really got to go. I'm so late. Oh, thank you. And there's the cash. I think the opening times are on the door. It's only a tenner, mind you, which hardly seems fair, as the mark can get the 500 quid reward for the ring tomorrow. Thank you, Hearn. Thank you. Bye. At least it'll pay for a cab to the airport. The mark walks off, thinking he's just struck gold. A few minutes later, here comes a familiar-looking lady stepping out of a familiar-looking cab at the exact same spot, and she's only gone and found another ring. Excuse me. Hiya, sorry, can you help me, please? I just found this ring. And once again, she singles out a mark. Once again, Jess draws attention to the poster. In here, and I've got to go. I'm shooting off, like, in two minutes. Can you help me? All right, and we can hand it tomorrow. Uh -huh. He seems keen to help. But what's in it for Jess? Have you got anything on you now that maybe you could give to me that at least I get something out of it? Would you want to tell me what you want? Well, <coughs> I mean, I don't know, 100 quid or something? Oh, I'm cheap! <laughs> <laughs> now that's more like it. Thank you, hun. Enjoy the rest of your night. I've really right, got to okay. go. No bother, Enjoy no yourself. Thank you. Right, Bye. Bye. Jess leaves with the Mark's £100. What's really convincing about this scam is that poster inside the jeweler's window. So how did the hustlers get it in there? Earlier, Jazz spotted a jewellery store with a nice big window and went inside posing as a young designer looking to stick up a poster to advertise his charity exhibition. With the manager's permission, Jazz stuck posters up inside and outside the shop window. Later, when the shop closed, all Jess had to do was quickly remove the poster on the outside, revealing a hidden reward notice printed on the back of the poster on the inside. And a constant supply of cheap fake rings means she can hit mark Hi, after mark just found this ring. Oh, after mark. This one here. Hi, can you just take me around the block? I'm actually raging because my judgment of people is usually a lot better. I'm actually raging, I'm actually furious. Nobody, but nobody gets one over on me, nobody. I don't allow it to happen, I'm too protective of myself. And it's clearly fake. This seems like a win-win situation to most marks. The young lady makes some money, they make some money, the rightful owner gets their ring back. What's not to like? 
Variations on the ring scam exist all over Europe and they all depend on the victim believing that a worthless ring is actually the real deal. If you're not an expert, be careful who you listen to and remember that a promise of reward might not be worth the paper that it's written on.